so the main arcade system that we built for one of the shows is now in a different location. I decided to bring it out here in the lobby so that customers could see it and if they want to order one, let them do it. Uh, I'm thinking about a $1,700 price tag for this one. And, you know, if somebody wants it, I'll just make another one. This is the Raspberry Pi and PC powered main arcade system. If you missed the video, we have a whole build log of this arcade system that you can watch. We'll put a link up in the top here. And you can actually see the, how we created this machine with the CNC machine and we wrote the code with the CAD system. A lot of fun. Good video too. Okay, I just thought I'd show the new home. We'll see how it goes for a while. It's set on free play, so there's no quarters required right now. See if it gets any interest. Hey guys, I thought I'd clean my electrostatic air filter. And I figured, hey, if I fall on my death, I'd like somebody to see what happened to me, so that's why I'm filming this. When I bought this building, these there was two of these in here. This used to be used for a like a party hall, that sort of thing. It was just an open shell, there wasn't much here. But they had these for cigarette smoking. And so I inherited them, you know, for the, with the price of the building. And uh, they're really good. If you can get your hands on these electrostatic filters, they'll take the dust particles right up to the ceiling which is really nice but you know there is some maintenance just like everything you gotta keep them clean so yeah that's everything pulls right out easy though these are the dirty um large filters that I took out of the front. These catch the big stuff and then these plates here on the ground that are charged with static pick up the little stuff and I'll show you them in just a minute. I'm going to take these outside. So this is one of the two electrostatic units and you can see the dirt on these blades. It's the fine particles that this catches and I don't know if you can see in there but it's dirty anyway there's two of these there's another one here on the floor I'm going to take those out clean them up as well you just rinse them with water at a car wash or with your garden hose so here's what it looks like from above I know it's really dark up here but there's the fan up here and there's the large cavity where the two electrostatic units go as well as the coarse uh, filters. I'm just taking out the grill that holds the filters in their place and it's made of plastic and aluminum. So I'm going to take these outside and clean them up. Okay so here I am I've got my hose hooked up outside and I'm just going to clean these filters. And really, most of this wood sawdust is MDF board. So all this stuff that is on here is stuff that didn't get in my lungs or in my nose. And I'm thankful for that. As long as you keep these clean, you know, they work pretty good. But I would say four times a year would probably be a good number. Unless you do a lot more woodworking than I do, then you might want to do a little more. I'm sure you could probably get these used on eBay. And like I said, if you work with MDF or have a really dusty environment, 
save yourself the health risk and you know pick up an electrostatic filter and this is just one thing that you can do to make it safer for your room so I'm just gonna let these sit out here and dry a little while put them in the sun and then we'll put them back in so just as reference this is the Honeywell electronic air cleaner and you know what I wouldn't be surprised if this was built in the 70s built to last though this is a test button and it taps out on uh, those filters that I washed off and it makes a spark sound if if it's working properly so I'm gonna get the vacuum and clean these vents out up here you can see this thing sitting right over the CNC bench and I've got another one of these too that isn't hooked up yet I probably want to put it right there and it goes in with chains above this drop ceiling and it's anchored into studs because it's quite heavy it's a real pain to to mount actually but this is probably the best way with a drop ceiling okay I'm just gonna vacuum this out before I put the filters back in So I clean this up outside and I'm going to put it back together now. These filters are similar to what they put in a range hood. It's like that metal mesh. There's two of them. That's what picks up all the coarse stuff. Okay, I'm going to put these electrostatic plates in now. And they do have an airflow um, arrow on them that you have to pay attention to here. That's it. Time to test it out. Alright, well I have it all cleaned up and put back together. Let's see how it runs. So that's how I... There's low. Sounds good. You can tell when they get dirty because they start snapping. So that's it for the Honeywell electronic air cleaner. Just thought I'd show it to you. Good for now. Well, I had to move the video game only after a couple hours. I had some um, people that liked to come in and play video games, and that's all they did. And they'd stay in my showroom and and pretty much play this thing nonstop. So. <laughs> this is where it's going to live and we take our breaks back here this is kind of like a little break room so it'll do us good to have it back in here for a while hey guys this is steve thanks for watching hey don't forget to subscribe if you like this video and be sure to rate and comment see ya